So today the internet imploded, and I mean seriously, seriously imploded. Massive outage felt around the world. With a widespread outage. Global tech disruption. So what actually happened? So for those who don't know, CrowdStrike is among the world's most popular and extensively used cybersecurity companies. They offer different cybersecurity services, antivirus software and tools to a broad range of industries including the financial services, healthcare, critical infrastructure, retail, the list goes on. While the company's primary products aim to prevent hackers and malware, CrowdStrike has also been commissioned to investigate significant data breaches in the past. In 2016, the Democratic National Committee or the DNC engaged CrowdStrike to investigate the Russian hack of its servers. Another example is in 2014 when Sony Pictures hired the company to examine a cyber attack associated with North Korea. So how did CrowdStrike cause all of this chaos? The global outage we've witnessed originates from an update made by CrowdStrike to its cybersecurity platform, a cloud-based software product known as Falcon. Falcon is a type of software known as Endpoint Detection and Response, or EDR. Its function is to monitor the activities on computers where it's installed, searching for signs of malicious activity, such as malware. When it detects that suspicious behavior, it helps to contain it and remove that threat. Falcon is installed on millions upon millions, if not billions of devices around the world, and as stated before, those are spread across numerous different industries and sectors. What we currently know is that an update to this Falcon software caused a malfunction, leading to Windows computers crashing and failing to reboot, resulting in the dreaded blue screen of death, which I think we've all had before. This issue caused the systems to then enter a continuous crashing loop, constantly blue screening of deathing, if that's even a term, effectively bricking them. George Kurtz, CrowdStrike CEO today, made numerous statements as events unfolded, one of which was as follows. Today was not a cybersecurity incident. Our customers remain fully protected. We understand the gravity of the situation and are deeply sorry for the inconvenience and disruption. We are working with all impacted customers to ensure that systems are back up and they can deliver the services to their customers. As noted earlier, the issue has been identified and a fix has been deployed. There was an issue with the Falcon content update for Windows hosts. So where do we go from here and where do IT teams go from here? At present, this isn't so simple. Something called a channel file was identified earlier in the day, channel file C, lots of zeros, 291.sys with timestamp of 0409 UTC was the problematic version of this channel file. In the time that I've written this video, CrowdStrike Engineering have actually identified a content deployment related to the issue and reverted those changes. For devices that are stuck in that reboot cycle, however, it's not so simple to revert. If machines or hosts are still unable to stay online to receive the new reverted channel file changes, then IT teams need to manually follow specific steps. Now remember the scale of this, millions and millions of computer systems impacted. So first of all, Windows should be booted into the safe mode or the Windows recovery environment. You should then navigate to the System32 drivers CrowdStrike directory. The affected sys file that we discussed earlier should then be identified within that location and then deleted. Currently, it's important to note that the CrowdStrike outage is not a cybersecurity incident and that there is no known active attacks resulting from it so far. However, because it impacts a cybersecurity product, there is a chance that threat actors may attempt to exploit the downtime in this product and any gaps in coverage. It's also highly likely that in the coming days and weeks, threat actors will use the incident in phishing and social engineering attacks to lure in new victims to exploit. Potential tactics could include fake offers of technical support or bogus CrowdStrike updates, leading to consequences such as exfiltration, ransomware deployment, and possibly even extortion. The cybersecurity community has also been monitoring the situation very carefully and have also been very loud online in places such as Reddit and on X and have already identified things such as fake and malicious domains being spun up. These are domains such as CrowdStrikeBlueScreen.com, CrowdStrikeDoomsday.com, CrowdStrikeFix.com, the list goes on. So to keep this short, what learning can we immediately take from the events that have happened today? The first thing is that IT teams should consider adopting maybe a more phased approach to software updates, especially for security solutions as big as CrowdStrike. Testing updates in sandbox environments or on a limited set of devices before full deployment can hopefully help identify some of these potential problems before they impact the wider environment. Additionally, building in some level of system redundancy is always advisable to properly isolate and manage fault domains, particularly when operating critical infrastructure. Let's see what happens in the following days to weeks and maybe even months. I do have one final note and post that I want to cover from X that I want to show you and I think this one resonates well. For my non-IT friends, IT and security teams did not do this. They chose a top product with an excellent reputation and that company has made an epic mistake. 
It has happened to them as much as it has happened to you, and it's not going to be an easy fix. So be kind, kinder than usual, 